the pro am you get paired up with two pros one on the front one on the back um and so we played with uh gosh we played with bubba the second i can't remember who played with on the front nine um, but we played with bubba on the back nine and and if, if anyone's ever knows bubba he kind of keeps to himself a little bit and everyone thinks he's kind of a douche because he doesn't like to talk to anyone and and so, you know, my goal was, hey, when we play with Bubba Watts on the back nine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this guy to open up. And so immediately I just started talking shit to him. Like I was just letting him have it. Him, him and his caddy. His caddy was loving it. So finally Bubba opened up to me and, then, and we had, you know, great, great conversations um, the rest of the way. But he was, he was amazed at how far I could hit it. And, yeah, one of those, the, the 18th hole, they had the track man set up. And I think I had a 197 ball speed. And he was basically like, look, like – that that's going to outdrive 98% of guys on the tour. Like I put on an absolute clinic that day with the driver. So that's, that's why I got invited back the next year with the guy that, that has the foursome, just mainly to hit the shit out of the driver and let them play from, you know, 50 yards away from the green. But um, yeah, those guys are, they're, they're unbelievable. This, this year I played with Patrick Cantley on the front nine. And I mean, the guy is absolute nails with the putter. I think he, I, he had, I think 10 putts on the front nine and shot six or seven under this. So this is a practice round, no pressure on, and these guys, I mean, they absolutely just tear up this golf course. So it's it, it's unbelievable to, to, you know, play with these guys and just to talk to them. Just, you know, obviously we, we know what goes on in our 162-game season, but the, the amount of travel these guys, uh, you know, have and the amount of, you know, they spend basically a full week in the city and the practice rounds and the working out and the amount of, you know, hours on the practice range. Like those guys, you know, they, they may have it tougher as, as far as we do, as far as the amount of hours they're putting in. Um, but it's just, it's just unbelievable the you know, the skill, the skill level that those guys have. What, what, um, what's your handicap <sighs> right now? Uh, and I'm, I'm probably two or three right now. It's, it, it's on the, it's on Ooh. the high side. Whoa. Yeah. Have you, have yeah. you heard, have you heard of, uh, Wits, Whit Merrifield's tournament? Have you heard about that? Have you gotten an invitation I, yet? I, I've, I heard him talk about it. No, I haven't, haven't received the invite yet, but that would, uh, oh. that'd be fun for sure. We'll get, <clears throat> hang on one second. Hey, Wit, <laughs> Corbin Burns wants to come and take your cash, so you better invite him. I need, I need to get you. We'll, we'll make sure the people behind the scenes here hook you guys up. You'll get, you won't get an email because you're a big leaguer. The minor leaguers and the guys who aren't playing anymore, they get emails. But you'll emails. get a cool invitation. Hey, I'm, I'm hey, looking forward to it. It's fun. Last thing, when you get your first – there was your first time you were ejected, right, if I recall? Yep. Yep, so I framed mine in my bathroom down here in my batting cage. So highlight what you said. They're going to be some choice words. Eric loves going down there and doing what he does in the bathroom and telling me about it. So highlight it, <laughs> make it, make it nice and neat somewhere. So when people come in the house, they have something to read and you'll get a good laugh. You'll be with people laughing in the bathroom for no reason. I'm, I'm not to do that. I mean, so Kratz, here's a good story for you. I came in, I came in the, uh, after I got ejected, I was told I had to leave the dugout. Um, you know, I was down in, I was down in the clubhouse in Cincy and Shogger walks by and Shogger said, Hey, you know, good game, whatever. And then like the game ends and Shogger goes, Hey, you were ejected. I was like, Shogger, are you, do you pay attention to the game when you're down here? Like, <laughs> will, you, will you quit playing with your hair or whatever you do? And in, in the meantime, like, yeah, dude, I got ejected. It's my first career ejection. Like, what are you going to get me? He's like, Oh, nice. Sick. Congrats. And I didn't get anything for it. Come on. Shogger one time. Yeah. I mean, every That's time we saying, have a brewer on Shogger comes on. And Shogger's like, Shogger's like one of these Sarah Lang tweets. It's like, Shogger's here, and then he's like, wee, and then he's here. He's losing Big Woo's <laughs> home run bat from the playoffs. Yeah. Now he's wow. not getting you something. Like, Shogger's going to be on this show. I say it every time. You need to bring him on and his weird little ponytail, since you don't have a ponytail anymore. <laughs> you can play with his hair. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to talk to him. We, we got to get Shogger straightened out. He's he's definitely you know de declining over the years. He's he's getting getting real show, getting real comfortable. So we'll uh, we'll we'll have to set him straight. <laughs> thank you so much, Corbin Burns. We appreciate it, and uh, we have, of course thank you for being on Fell Territory and going the extra mile to find the good Wi-Fi signal. Nice haircut <laughs> too. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Yep, awesome. Thank you guys.